everyone this is Christina D aka Jordan the Easel with a style of video that I don't plan to do much of anymore and that is a little product testing review no this is not sponsored I just got curious one day looked at five below and they have stepped up their game so I I got curious and you know what I am I'm, I'm giving you a little bit of a spoiler I am impressed so uh yeah Let's get right on into this and see what Five Below's got to offer. We got the supply set up. Let's see what we got. These were mostly for fun. So maybe we'll use these at some point, but let's go through. Starting off, got the paper. Okay. Pretty decent texture to it. I like it. It's not too smooth. I am very picky with sketchbook paper. Very, very picky. It seems pretty good. It's thin, feels like your typical sketchbook. But let's. Do I want to start with these or. You know what? Yeah, I'll start with these, move on to these, and then again, these I also got for fun. So uh, between these two, I may or may not actually feature these in the final product if I do decide to go with pictures. So let's see, we got Five Below Fine Liners. Now, there you go. Check the box. Let's use our handy dandy sketchbook. Going in order. We've got. Is this focusing? Is it? Is it? Is it? Maybe yes, no. I honestly don't know. I need to put my glasses on. I don't think it is. We've got the point two. In the zero first. And then, ooh, it has a brush pen. Let's see, ooh, that looks nice. We can get this to focus. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Looks like a felt tip. Nice point. I dig that. I love how I already forgot the order I'm going to do things in. So you know what? For the fun of it, let's just do these anyway. I know I probably didn't say I was going to do these in this order, but I'm going to do it. Don't try this at home. Okay. Two. Stage you first, don't do what I did on my first cut. And do not cut towards yourself. Alright. Chuck in the box. Ooh. Fancy. Do the duochrome. Ooh. And cartridges. We got the caps. And now. <laughs> I'm assuming it doesn't already have ink in it, yeah. So give me a sec while I try to figure this out. Okay, apparently these take a while to set up. Nice. 
Is it working? Did I press it in far enough? I don't know. I think I heard a click. You know what? I'll deal with it later. Screw it. I am impatient. I can play with these later. Alright. Also, I did leave the box. The instructions are on it. So, okay. The main reason I got curious about these art supplies is a little pouch. Keep in mind, this was all like 26 bucks. When I was that taped down, that's taped down. Why did I tape a Ziploc bag? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I can't even do that. Hang on. Okay. There you go. So, you know, this was all, all the other 26 bucks. Which, for the amount of supplies you get, definitely more than you get from an art store. So, uh, this was the Artist Sketching Art Kit by Creative Gallery. Hmm. Oh, and it comes with paper. That's adorable. Ooh, and it's paper that has tools to it. This is a kit after my own heart. So let's see, we got three different pencils. The tortillon, or the blendy stick. An eraser, sharpener. Three different pieces of charcoal. Along with the paper. So let's see. We've got... A nice 2H pencil. Ooh. Okay. It's pretty decent. Got your basic HB, if I can get this to focus. Yes, no, yes, no. Well, trust me, it's an HB. So your typical Okay. It's not bad. And then we got to be or not to be. It looks like to be to me. Ooh. Now that is buttery. Oh yeah, that is buttery, I like it. Now we got the, uh, okay, this one kind of split, but they're charcoal sticks, it happens. Probably should have done this over something else, but let's see. Ooh, that actually goes over very nicely. Hmm. So we got a white charcoal stick. Basic gray, probably a graphic stick. Stay in the box. Three soft pastels. Ooh. It looks nice. And then another one that broke in transit, but again, they're like charcoal pastel sticks. It's gonna happen anyway. Then we get a nice dark black. Obviously, messy. That's the fun part. Ooh, that's really nice. I like that. That is really, really nice. And then we've got the watercolor art kit, but also by Creative Gallery. If you can see that, yes, no, yes, there you go. And these, well, I'm not gonna be using this, not gonna be using the watercolor brush because it's that cheap little plasticky thing that they always give, but... We've got, it looks like chalk pan. 
some nice little color pencils. And even this gives watercolor paper. I like that. Oh, I really like that. And you know what? Let's test it out on a paper because it looks like I gave a few sheets, actually. Actually, I should probably wash my hands too before I touch that. Probably should. Be right back. Alrighty. Got a paintbrush from one of my favorite travel sets. Got some water going. Let's test out these paints. Oh, that looks that looks so nice. I remember why I used to like pan paints. So let's use the oh that is surprisingly pigmented. Oh my god. I was I was not expecting that. Oh, even the pink. What? Oh my god. Yeah. Pinks are usually the most pastel of most sets if they have them. Oh my god. That's surprising. Ooh, even that, even that orange. What? Oh my god. Five below, you are shocking me. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I might just be recommending five below. If you want to try stuff out, get that green. <gasps> that color, though! What? I'm sorry, what, when did they get this good? Oh my god, that, that blue. That blue. What? I don't think I've ever seen a chalk pan of watercolor this nice. I mean, I, if anything, the only downside I'm seeing is it pushes the color a teensy bit, so there's a little streakiness. It definitely doesn't dry as vibrant as it goes down, but for five below, though? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? What? Like, look at that. If I can get this to focus, that'd be nice. But yeah, no, that, that is beautiful. I am genuinely impressed. Oh my god. Alrighty, let's try out these color pencils then. Okay, these are gonna have to come out of the bag. It's, it's gonna have to get jumbled up. Forgive me. But, oh my god. I, I can't get over those. I cannot get over that. That was... That is something. I just look at that. Alright. Get the out of the way. All right, let's try these. Uh... Okay. Pigments pretty darn good on these too. I was not expecting this from five below. Oh my god. I am genuinely impressed. I am completely genuinely impressed. Oh my god. What is even happening? Even the color on this blue. What? When did Five Below step up their game? I want to know. This is genuinely impressive. What is even happening? Oh my god, that purple is so nice. 
like a nice plummy purple. And I mean, it's white. What are you expecting? But look at that. Oh my God. I am impressed. I am genuinely impressed. Huh. Now I'm curious how well these glow in the dark. Not sure how well you guys can see that, but here's the paint, and dude, it actually glows in the dark. Some colors better than others, but hang on. Good old sonic screwdriver. Let's see, that just happens to be a black light. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Try it again. Oh, that's so neat! So I guess if you need some some starting supplies, a good place to go is Five Below. Again, not sponsored. I just got curious. And I will see you guys in the next video whenever that is. And I don't plan on doing more supply videos because it does get pricey. But uh, th th this one was completely worth the price. So yeah, see you guys then.